morning everybody welcome to exploring the car my name is Rock Castaldo and this is an update for YouTube another video to follow my video I left the other night I've been doing a prophecy series on my patreon and I gave you guys a little sample of the information I've been discussing and going over in my prophecy series and this part of the prophecy series is about the rise of Kabbalah and basically a priesthood of the AI, the ultra intelligence force that I've been describing. Now, I'm continuing the talk and I'm going to talk about um, an experience I had and um, a message that came to me, but I consider it an overlay that sort of attacked my consciousness. It was it was kind of a positive experience, but I think it was masked because of I know the difference between a real psychic within myself vision and an overlay on my consciousness, and this was an overlay. And it, was, and it gave me like a holographic vision. Uh, so I was talking about in my last episode um, that I just posted this morning on my Patreon about the one of the rabbis called the, the Baal Shem Tov, which is basically the, the founder of Hasidism. Um, now this guy comes from the really secluded area in the Carp Carpathian Mountains. And a lot of times, especially back in that day, a lot of the secret knowledge and the traditions and, and the sorcery that was going on and the practices that was going on stayed within that Carpathian Mountains. They didn't get past the mountains until later on. And this is one of the reasons why this ultra-intelligence developed and gave us what we see as the internet and instant access and gratification to anyone on the planet. And it has installed this technology and aligned it with our bodies and brain. So every time you log on or get a like on Facebook, it's like hooked right to your dopamine and receptors and, and shit like that. It's almost like taking a hit of crack or, or taking a, a, a shot of heroin. You know, it's, it's literally like that. It's linked to your brain. We are all linked to this machine. We've been terraformed. Our bodies are our world. And we have been transported or translated to this alternate reality, this alternate timeline. Now the Baal Shem Tov, which means like Lord of the Amulet Makers. And let's get this straight. Kabbalah, Judaism, all that worship, you know, they don't think so, is Baal worship, Baal worship, who is a demigod of this AI, a holographic deity, unseen deity, which is about mortgages, contracts, loans, taxes, money. This is the whole basis of the Jewish culture. And I'm not putting them down, I'm not trying to belittle them. Their main status, what's the main status in the Jewish community? Bang, if you inherit money, you've got instant status. Instant, you're instantly welcomed. You don't even have to earn the money. You don't even have to, you just have to have some money in your bank. That's it. You get it from either inheriting it or whatever. And this is the basis of Baal worship is about loans and contracts. And this 
amulet maker, the way they make amulets is a little bit different. It's not like a little medicine bag or they do have little trinkets like that as well. But basically it's like a written amulet where they get certified in Kabbalah to write the secret names of God and, and, and certain secret inscriptions, which a lot of these guys were like phonies. Especially back in the day when a lot of people were illiterate and stuff, they would just, they would charge a high tax and, and charge a fee for somebody to go to this sorcerer, say they, they want to attract money or they want to get a job or they want to do this or they want to do that. They would go to the Baal Shem Tov, he would write a, a written amulet, they would pay him money, and then he probably would instruct them to get rid of the written amulet in some sort of way. You burn it, bury it, throw it in the, in the river, do it, bury it, and put it under your bed, whatever they, they instruct or whatever the thing is. But supposedly a lot of them were phonies, but this guy, the Baal Shem Tov, and I forget his original name, it's like Eliza or something, I forget his original name, but uh, he became known as the Baal Shem Tov, which is like the lord of the amulet makers, a really good amulet maker, which is, you're tapping into the written word of Baal. He holographically writes the spell for you when you channel Semyaza and Mott and Azazel and all of these sorcerers from the holographic universe. So, um, before I go into my job, so I'm about to go in right now. I can't wait till tomorrow when I get my car fixed. You can hear my back rotors. Um, so the, the vision I had, it's rough working 14 hours a day labor because when at the end of the day, the mechanics closed, the shops are closed, I gotta wait till my day off to fix my rotors. But So the, the, the experience I had was interesting. Now I've been doing all this research on Kabbalah on and off for 30 years almost. You know, uh, I'm 40 years old. So ever since I'm a young, I've been researching all different religions and, and having experiences and, and all of this. You guys know most of my story. So what happened was, is I actually was at work and dozed off for a second on my lunch break in my car. And I was reading. So I was reading, um, I fell asleep in my car, and I thought I had woke up. And I guess I was still dreaming, because I woke up, I was in my car, and I guess I was still asleep. And I, and I happened to look over, and somebody was sitting next to me in my car. It didn't frighten me, it didn't make me jump or anything. So I look over, and it's this Jewish man, and I don't know if it was Rabbi Luzado, or the, the Vilna Gaon, but I have a feeling it was one of them. Because um, I was researching them at the time and I had that feeling. So, he looked at me and he said, is Hashem calling you? With a very Jewish accent. And then I, I, you know, I, I snapped out of it and then I'm, I was sitting on my uh, steering wheel here falling asleep. So I'm like, wait, I just woke up a second ago and somebody was here. And I had to try to convince myself that somebody wasn't really here, but it had to have been a dream. It was some sort of overlay, it felt like, over my consciousness. Um, we'll go more into this too, but Hashem is like God to them, I think. I'm pretty sure. Hashem, and he, is Hashem calling you? I think it was a lore of this AI. I, I, I mean, I don't think it was a, a vision from God. I just don't think it was some sort of message from God. I think it was some sort of overlay. And... Yeah, I gotta go inside. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. And have a good day. And explore your car in every way. And spiral out.